Hey everyone, this is a game called Misdirection. This is a puzzle game based all around gravity tricks. You can see that you can't actually get to the door from this side. You actually have to switch gravity and come out here from the other side. So this game is something I played like five years ago. And because of that, it's pretty obscure, but I really like the game. So you can see this X, I can press down to go through it, but this obviously makes me fall into a pit. If I go down here, then I'm just stuck on this platform. But if I go down here, you'll notice that the edge isn't like curved, so I can just fall through. Then I can press up to go through the X and then get to the door. So yeah, it was like this really cool combination of uh, gravity mechanics plus like how subtle it is that things can matter if they're on the edge. If they, I'm over here, I'm actually trapped. Um, so yeah, and then get to the door over here. A lot of clever stuff in here. So we have this section. And yes, I, I know what the trick is. I'm just like showing that like this almost seems to make it to the door, but you actually like slide off in, in that uh, in that corner when it's like that. So actually the, the joke is that we go all the way back um, right here. And yes, you could do that from the very start. Okay, now as, as we go further and further in levels, I will remember less and less. Oh, I will fall to my death if I do this. Um, I'm not gonna get myself trapped there, will I? I can go over here, but this is trapped as well. Okay, let's just reset. Um, hmm. I can switch over to here. I can get to this left wall, which seems like a good idea. And then move over here. Is that good? Hmm. Or I can fall to the top. Okay, there's something interesting about falling to the top. Because I can go down here. Um, Concepts of down do not quite apply, and there we go. Okay. Now we have boxes. And boxes also have a direction they respect. Um, so like it's like gravity uh, changes there. Now there is a very suspicious thing at the very bottom of the level, which is like a one-way path. I don't know if the box goes there. We can bring this box over here and then jump into the exit. Okay, another box. If I do this, the box just falls out, and uh, we can still play, but it's not a very good idea. Um, so it seems like we're going to have to get off this platform and then switch to different gravity in order to get that box in, in a good spot. Something like this. Uh, but don't we want it to the side? Well, at least we got the gravity to drop, but this was not exactly what I wanted to see. How about we do this? Switch gravity, and then if I push it on this gravity, it'll... No, it won't. Well, that sucks. <laughs> okay, but clearly we need that box on the other uh, on the other side. Okay, new plan. Instead, we're going to try to uh, to push that box down and then switch its gravity. I'm not even sure this is an idea that will work at all, but I can try it. Now the problem is that I will not be able to use the X through this box, so it's not clear to me how this would work. And try to switch gravity now. This is not so like a good idea. Okay, better idea. We're gonna do this. Switch gravity just so we can push this box one to the other side. Then we push this um, to flip its gravity that way, which is a hell of a lot easier. And now that box will be on different gravity, so I can even push it on, on this gravity um, and they'll be correct. Right? Cool. Alright, so, three boxes here. We're almost making it, but not exactly. Alright, so, there's the possibility that it's to the left. Um, unlikely. But if we could do any, um, any gravity nonsense, like, this would be the time to do it. Because notice it can go all the way around, because that's, you know, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> and I can fall through. Okay, but what is the point of doing that? It didn't seem that great. And I can't do anything with the other box. You know what? I'm hmm, not that either. See, I'm not making it all the way around, and I think this can, this can only go this way, right? And I can't fall down. It's just a bad idea. Hmm. No, in case you were confused, by the way, I cannot like jump and then move. That's just not a thing in this section ever. Okay, I think I I think I have an idea. Although it's one of those levels that's a little bit of a little bit. So we have time to do, but we actually come in here the other way around. Uh, okay, come on. 
Look at this. Look at this very close to what I'm going to do. And I wonder if you can actually predict what I'm going to do here. Because um, this is pretty sick. Jump! Alright, we had problems before. Because um, because we would be forced to push that into the right pit. But now, I just fall in. Get that over here. And there we go. Alright, now. Boxes. Oh. Okay, so the troll here is that you don't know what direction the box's gravity is set to until you fall. So... That's normal, that's not. Um... Hmm... This is very close. Did I, did I do something wrong? Was, hmm. I... Okay, well first of all I should probably test if the pushing two boxes at once works. I didn't do that for whatever reason, but I'm going to say it's not going to work. Okay, it doesn't work. There's no way that it's good for us to be blocked like that, and we go here, and then we just, like, don't make a good third platform, so maybe we do it this way instead? I... There's obviously some order that I'm failing to, like, successfully do right here. Well, hold on, I can do that and put the box over my head, right? Okay, and then and I can keep it there. Which also means I can just... I can get it to the other direction. Ah, that's so good. That's so good. Alright. And let's go. Alright, so here... We have two boxes... That are uh, in here. We get the box on this side. Okay. Nothing nothing to do there. Um, looks like we just get both of the boxes out to the other side. I don't understand why these are different. Okay, wait, no, but we can get trapped um, over here. This is, by the way, I do remember there's the possibility of death. <laughs> Which is very cursed. I know that sounds like a meme, but uh yeah, it's I'm just saying that because there's a there's a bit of a jump scare-esque quality to it, which I'd prefer that no one gets that that shocked by. That there is surprise death in, in here. Um Alright, but how do we do this actually? Like we almost want to be on this gravity so I can push it like left or whatever. Actually you know what? I'm just gonna fall here. And hopefully I can, like, use these boxes for something. Um, but not go to the trash. Um, oh, can I, like... Well, hold on. I can do that and use that as a bridge. Because it doesn't, like, push. Because, of you know, that's how gravity is. You know how it'd be. <laughs> okay. Now that we got that, though... We can get the box to this gravity... And, uh... What did I do wrong over here? Uh, maybe you gotta... No, how do I get to the other side now? Um, I, I think I need to lose a bridge. That, no. No. Alright, here's a better idea. Go here. And go all the way back. There is this element of, like, backtracking, which, like, it helps with the puzzle aspect. Yeah, you see, I'm... Um, I used that box, got back, and just fall there. It's not an aspect that I quite remember. Okay, I remember the layout of this level. Not very much else about it. So I can fall here. I need that box somewhere, but I can't like just go over here. I'll like slip off this side. So... Where's this going? Is it this way? Well, that's, that's not good enough. The gravity does kind of work here though, but... Actually, wait, I can see it. Alright. Anyway. Yeah, so what you do here is you put the box on the corner so that you don't, like, curve around and you come in. What's this? Oh, yes. Okay. I don't remember being so confused by this level um, and have no having no idea what this was about. And this is a very clever level, I think. So if you go around here, um, I'm gonna get this, and that, that's like the X that we saw before, but it switches to gravity as well. Now, that box was facing down, but we're not facing down. We can go to the right. Now, what's at the right? <laughs> yep. Just 
it goes to the other island. And to me, that was not an obvious step, but I was very happy I saw it. Okay. And uh, another thing that this is trying to teach about is behavior when you are uh, taking a curve and then going to another uh, curve right, right next to it. Now, I, I will admit that this box in particular is very odd, like... I guess it's just curving around, right? Um, but yeah, the behavior when you're on two curves doesn't necessarily look like the behavior if there was a gap in between those curves. Um, Alright, here's, here's another level. We got all these crates, and I don't quite know where to stack them. I There is, by the way, an asymmetry here. Uh, that we probably would like to take advantage of uh, on the left side where we can make a drop. So I don't really remember where we're dropping from. Like, we can go here and try to go on this side, but that's not really working. Uh, so what's embarrassing is probably I, I was better at this than the first time. <laughs> okay, anyway, like, I see you can make a bridge here, which is a, a, a pseudo bridge, which is interesting. Um, I don't know if this means that I can make it drop down from there, um, which is another interesting thing, but I can try it. Like, there's something good about it being stacked like this. I don't know if I just keep it in, though. Like, I can do this, and then try to get another box. We need a bunch of boxes to get the final one in, though. And, okay, getting that stuck there was not a good idea. Another thing is I can have a box set up, like, there. No, no. Well, actually, I... What happens if I have the box on that? I'm just stuck? Alright. Like, I actually think maybe there should be a bridge here, a half bridge here. And then we can, like, drop down and add more blocks. So, similar to what we've already been doing. We might have more leeway on the bridge. I... Yes! Yes! Okay, good. And I can just jump for the finale, by the way. Alright. What's next? Oh, uh, this looks complicated. I seem to remember that it was less complicated than it looked, but uh, the the edge stuff definitely makes it look complicated. The top and bottom edge, uh, the top and bottom things aren't even the same anyway. We can like stack boxes here. You can watch the boxes uh, fall in strange places. I can also fall here. Actually, we won't be trapped here. No, we're actually not. Okay, that's interesting. And then I can continue to fall. I don't know. Hmm, that's... I can do that. Um, I don't want to fall on top of the box or something, though. I don't know why I'm not succeeding in doing that right now, but yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Do that. Fall there. Add one. Like, I'm trying to add to that box in the hopes that I can, like, turn the other way. Oh, that is so close. Or something like that. I don't know. Let's just undo a bunch. Wait, I don't need any of that complicated crap. I really don't. Like, I think I see something. Well, I, I do need to get one box off the, off the junkyard, but... Or maybe I just fall here. Because I think I see that... What the hell? That's not where I wanted to fall. Okay, I can fall here. But do you, do you see what I'm trying to go? Oh, I can't even... That's interesting. I can't actually turn right there. Um, I'm trying to go here. Ah, shoot. Really? I get turned? Hmm. Yeah, I was trying to, like, get on top of there and, and fall down, uh, fall to the left. I also tried this setup where I got a box at the bottom, but it doesn't seem to be working either. I just fall back in this position. Wait, so I'm gonna get, I made a turnaround. Well, it doesn't matter. Still didn't succeed. Something that might be interesting is that this level looks like it has more, like, um, I don't know. Like, more possibilities than it does, because all of these box drops seem to lead into the same place. Watching these takes a bit of time, which is annoying, but I'm not gonna bore you that much. Oh, here's the jump scare death that I was talking about. Something about that behavior is apparently undefined. I don't know. Like, because I guess that it's supposed to try to switch gravity at this point, um, but doesn't know, but yeah, there's no behavior, so instead we just get these weird bloody boxes, um, which are, un which feel very unfitting, but there we go. 
Like, I'm just trying to stack these, even though, though it probably won't do anything meaningful. Um, but if it does work, no, it won't. Well, there is actually, like, one interesting thing where you can, like, no, idiot. Like, you, you can try to, like, build a bridge to that door, maybe, with the four boxes. though. I don't know. Like, I don't even remember the behavior of what happens. Um, oh, it does work. Okay, there we go. No more questions asked. So, lots of complicated boxes here. We can fall here. I don't know if we can get through the X horizontally. Um, as a reminder, these uh, flip your gravity. Um, the X's do not. So, there's two boxes at the top. Stuff that we probably don't need to deal with yet. That box is getting in the way for that. I'd rather reset. And actually, I can do this and push it the other way. Actually, if I can do that, why don't I just, like, go through the X? Okay, that box happens to be on the down gravity, I guess. That one's actually, like, regular, right? Hmm. It's on regular gravity. Alright, so what are we doing here? We can't fall down. Like, I think that's a bad idea. I can actually, like, decide to just throw this box. No, we can't. <laughs> uh, damn it. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that box. I can, like, maybe keep it in. And then turn here. If that's even a good idea. Because if I can fall to the to the other side, there's something good about that. I should have an idea. Like, if we can manage to get one box on the side, then we can stack two blocks and then fall and still be able to go left from here. So let's try that. The problem is we do want to get through as well. I don't know. I can also just fall straight down if I want to, uh, edit this. <laughs> I use, like, how I use the term edit here, but just edit the, the state over here. Hmm. It still falls a little normally, though, which is not quite what I want to, wanted to see. Hmm. We really wanted to get that on a wall. Um, which I guess we can do that by making it fall down. Right, and then we do the then we do what I wanted to to do here, which is create this. Now I'm not sure what the other box is for um, on the on the on the top side. Hopefully they don't need it. There we go. All right. Oh gosh, we have a maze. We can't go through that. Um, can't go on that wall. Oh, that is that is another so close yet so far moment. Okay, so pressing down sucks there, is, is the idea. And we're stuck if I, if I do that. I can try to go here, maybe, I don't know, edit that box position. Then, like, try to go back. I'm just trying to make moves that are different, okay? Uh, this is not something with, with a lot of thought that goes into it, okay. Do I need, either need a box or something else to, to get through for that side? Okay, move it off the wall there, if that's a good idea. But either way, that does block off a path for me. Okay, that box is blocking the way. Hmm. Am I screwed? Because I can't, I can't, like, leave here without ruining a corner. Or maybe I should have went back into one of the other rooms, because I definitely didn't explore everything in there. Hmm. Oh, I can do this? Oh, I could have done it the whole time, huh? So it, like... I can get to the other side of here and do stuff. Um, can I go all the way back? Well, no, this is an another part where I still needed, like, um, something there. So, like, that's a dead end at the bottom right, really. I feel like I should make this change, but I don't know, like, what's best, because it does block both sides. Yes, I did reset, because um, I really feel like I need to do something to the, to the past rooms, right? I don't like getting stuck there. Let's get back there. It's only because I haven't done that move yet in the past, really. I'm doing it now. I can still move it out of the way, which is good, and then get into this room. So, uh, if I can just do that and, and keep the keep this way in, and I can jump here to get out of the way, then go, then then get jump scared. <laughs> That's another step. Uh. 
and then go back here and then move into this room finally, which is what we wanted to see the whole damn time. Go the other way, and then we have it. Okay, it's a little, it seems sort of symmetrical. There are obviously non-symmetrical parts about it. Like, I can go around here, and the box actually goes, like, not quite where you'd expect. Like, it goes into a sideways gravity. Not trying to fix that, or if that box is just going to stay there forever. But yeah, we can bring another box into that position if we wanted to. So because it has problems with moving to the side, I think I want to use this block to... Um, use the box to block the side motion, maybe? The sides of these platforms are also not quite the same um, between their gravities, and that was a terrible idea. Maybe we're supposed to knock it up here and then drop it. Oops. But then there's nothing good to drop on. Um, okay. I'm going to switch this box to the other side and hope that does something. So, head over here, and then use this block as the side blocker instead. Get to the side here. Slower now. I don't know. Anyway. Twist it here. And I hope that I can actually get this to a different angle now. Okay. So that's there. Now, I'm concerned that the edges at the very end uh, are going to matter. Like, you see that the, at the very top, the left and the right don't quite match. Um. Oh, great. I got trolled. Yep. Okay, that was a bad idea. Well, I think I didn't do this at first because I didn't know how to get back here, but okay, you can actually get back. Okay. That's the- that- I can't get past that part. That's- that's a good troll. Uh, am I seriously stuck here? No way. Well, okay. No, I think I just go sideways on this block, alright. Um, there's- there's- there's still issues. Hmm. Well, I can make that go here. And then jump the opposite way. I just didn't think it would do anything because it was terrible when I did it at first. I can drop down here and jump, but isn't that just going to put into the void? Hmm. Wait, I think I see it. I think it's a troll. I think it relies on the side stuff, like the wings on the sides or whatever the heck. Um, I, I thought they didn't mean anything, but I think we need them. So I just, like, push that to the side that here so that I ignore the corner go all the way up here and there we go that's some great misdirection right there all right so we got this trap now or whatever it is like there's something weird at the bottom that has just the amount of that has four uh four blocks that can hold but maybe that's all we're going for it seems like maybe we're going for like like a, like a four uh or four tall or three tall side bridge. No, I think we're filling in the hole because we don't want to fall in there. I don't know if we're going to need a box in order to fix that, though. So for this box, we, we barely have any options of where to go for that one. How am I going to turn this to, like, a different gravity? Hmm. I need to go all the way up here. This is very odd, though. It does change the gravity, which is not ideal. Like, I can go here and fall, and there's something good about that, because we have access to, like, the X over here. I think the X might be the most important bit, because, it, you know, again, you can just go through it without switching your gravity. So there's one block in the hole, if this is what we need anyway. I don't like that I got that block stuck, though. Yeah, in fact, I think getting the block stuck is a terrible idea. We want to trap that block. Do the same tactics go back in the X. Now, what I'm not sure about is if, like... Because I know I can't get this box in, but I, don't, but I want to know if there is a use for some of those other blocks. Because um, I might be doing something wrong by putting them in just like that. After all, I still know how to get to the top right island. I mean, maybe we don't ever go onto that box. If you look at the left, like, the top left of this island, like, has the edge you can fall on, potentially. If you can do that, that's good. Oh, actually, there is a way to use three boxes. Hold on, I'll, I'll set it up, because we already know, like, um, maneuvering around this is actually kind of easy. We're gonna get three boxes on this box. I mean, two boxes. The, the total count is three. I don't know if I showed it off yet, but I did try to get this to the side, and no, you can't go sideways on that thing. Which I will say might come might be a little strange. Maybe there's uh, some design you could do with that if that was allowed, but it's not. 
so can't get through that still. Yeah, try to set two of these up like this, but you can't go on that, or you can't like push any of these down in this state. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this level is genius. I, I set those boxes up on the right. Um, wow, this problem took me a lot longer than did my first playthrough, huh? Um, who was more experimental then? <laughs> anyway, um, again, first playthrough was like five years ago. And sometimes I wonder if I was more competent back then. Anyway, now we got the box moved, so we should just be able to drop um, on it and get the three boxes. Alright. Okay. Then we switch over to the left island. Gotta wait for all these freaking falling animations, though. And then we get to this block. But otherwise, I think we are actually, like, um... I otherwise think that the solution is actually pretty standard over here. Just get all these down. As well as here. I'm sure you don't need to watch these slow animations. Alright, here we go. Okay, what's this? We have- this is like- this looks really complicated. I feel like I remember it wasn't as complicated as it looked. But... Okay, we got a lot of these, like, turnarounds here. Hmm. We can use that to, like, not get stuck on the box, but we're gonna get s We're gonna just go and ju just jump into the void if we do that one, so... Let's not. I wonder if I need to save this box at all. Well, anyway, I can go over here, switch to this side. Um, feels bad. Hmm. Like, getting to the top feels useful for some reason, but I don't quite remember why. Okay, wait, I can get this box over to this side. And fill in a gap. Doesn't seem like the best gap to fill, though, because I'm just going to go down into the void. I can also get this box, which is a so-close-get-so-far situation. Um, is that box worth throwing to the trash? I actually have a sense in, like, the top section is the, is the thing that you want, right? Because it looks like you just fall on top of the door. Uh-oh. Get stuck there. It seems like we're going- we're following a similar path to the first box, perhaps? No, there's something different. Okay, we managed to get here somehow. Hmm. That's very interesting. I've managed to get here. Oh crap. Uh, wait, no, 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 we win, we win. Alright. There we go. And here's the last level. This level was, uh, this took me such a long time. And there was a trick, so I kind of feel it might be faster. But, yeah, we got a, the house at the top and a kind of a confusing maze in here and a single box that we need to do something with. So I guess I'll just, like, explore the state space and see, um, See how it goes. So if that can go there. Gravity shifts this way. And we can go all the way back to the first corridor, but it doesn't seem like there's much progress to be made in there. We can switch gravity back here and put that inside. Now obviously, um, probably similar to you, I thought that doing uh that putting this there was useful. I'm just gonna go back down here to go sideways in here, I think. Because it's one of those rare positions. No, I don't know how we can get down there, actually. I can go back down here to actually switch back, but... Yeah, I don't know. Something's very odd about this place. In particular, you'll notice there's, like, only two ways to win. Like, like either the box is here blockading, or the box is here blockading. Or here is the position where my player was when I was speaking to that, obviously. Anyway, um... The box needs to be in some tricky situation because it seems like it's really easy to get the box uh, in somewhere different. Different and less good. Also, it's a little distracting to have these far range undos, right? Um, anyway, we can go back in here, we can go back down and switch to this side. That doesn't look good. I wanted to switch to, um, to here so I can make this hit, maybe. And then we can, like, put it there. Is that anything? I remember trying something like this, and it didn't really work. Like, we can almost get to the other side of that, but I think that it does not do anything useful. 
Oh yeah, and I think it's possible to move this over, right? Like, that's interesting. But then you're stuck here, and there's nothing you can seemingly do. Or we can try to move the box out here. Uh, in hopes that there is some gravity change in this side that's like the correct way, but I do not think it's actually possible. Actually, I think I've, me I've remembered what the trick of this puzzle was. Although maybe we should like explore like, th you know, this is also a possible state and um, right? How do I get on that platform again? <laughs> you can even put the box on here and like that looks awkward because it's like almost hitting something, but it's really not. We can even put the box here. And then we can, like, s put that box here? That seems bad. I mean, it's worth a try, but I don't think... Yeah, again, we just, like, don't do anything with that box. I think we do drop that. I think I think it's also interesting that, like, you can go all the way to the right side, and I guess the only point of it is to bring this down here. I also noticed that you can drop it here. And I want to jump here. I don't want to go back... I don't want to just, like, follow the same path the box. So now that that's over here. And, uh, yes, I do know... I'm pretty sure I know the solution at this point, so, uh, last chance to think about it. We're jumping again to, to reach that. And then we're jumping again to get it through the foot portion. Now that is something great. <laughs> like, three jumps for that. That took me hours in my first playthrough. I remember that very well. Um, well, not not the exact mechanic, obviously, um, but the hours that I spent on the level. So yeah, this direction. It's such a good game. Uh, so yeah, yeah, there you go. This direction. Now, yes, I will say that I did not like that final level's uh, gimmick at first. Um, still there's something I find kind of an issue with it because my opinion has stayed the same on that final level. But I think it's more annoying slash hidden because in past levels if you try to go through that with a box like blocking your way, you just can't go through, you can't go sideways through it, so it feels like that is a, like a super restricted mechanic to flip that. So that's why it comes off as more unfair in the final level because you kind of have to assume that's how it behaves, even though, like, past experimentation didn't really let you do that, and other experimentation would have just prevented from doing anything useful um, for other cases of the flip. But anyway, Misdirection, super good game. I may be, like, the only person who knows about it. Uh, so, perfect time to uh, bring it back up again. Bye. Chess Battle Advanced.